Okay, Brian here from Northwind Garage, folks. Uh, we got these feet for the mill. There's 18 of them. Six for the track, extra track extension to make it six, be able to cut a 16 foot log or a piece of lumber. And uh, 12 for the original mill. So, just to make this easier, I got a, a little impact wrench. These are 24. 24 millimeter uh, nuts to put it together with. A 15 16 will also work if you have one. So, anyway, this is how I was going to go about it. Basically. Pop those through there. Start this on there, and then basically hold the wrench on the end and zip it on here. Alright, there you have it. Uh, I see a lot of guys fighting with them doing them all by hand. Uh, you could use a drill for this. You could get an adapter for your uh, in, uh, you know, your impact screwdriver and do the same thing. This is a regular half inch drive impact. And it, these batteries basically go to my whole set. There you have it. Easy peasy. Uh, so basically just, this is one thing I knew that was going to be monotonous for the mill to put together. So I'm going to pre-assemble all these and then uh, when I get ready to put the tracks together, they'll be all ready to go. There you have it. Do a couple more here. This part you can basically just run down with your fingers. I suppose you could put some Loctite or... something on these, but I don't, I don't think you'll need it. Hopefully I'm not wrong. Look. Alright, so that's the extension, the track extension, in very little time. So, each one of these has a, a top and a bottom that will go through the, the track rail. And basically, you can just hand start these to give you a start at it.
like I said, you can use your uh, quarter inch impact for your drill. Just you just got to have the right adapter and the right socket. Uh, you probably won't get it as tight as this, but it will uh, get the job done. You might have to tweak them down afterwards. Essentially, with this, you won't have to because you'll get enough torque out of it. But uh, with that small set, you might have to just go through and uh, retighten. I'm just putting the nuts on the top here so I don't lose them. So these will be all ready to go when it's time. There you have it. There's the complete six foot track extension. basically just trying to stage my parts here a little bit so I can go faster. I got a cardboard box here just to keep things from rolling off the bench. My makeshift bench here. and do them all just got an idea how they roll so basically I just set my level lay these up under the tracks and go ahead and, and move this where I need it and then this will be tightened down accordingly so there you have that okay folks so here's my quick tip on assembling the feet for the woodland mills HM130 Max. So we'll move on to the next step and uh, keep moving forward. Northwind Garage, peace out and God bless you.